Hello, welcome to this video for the Alfa Romeo 159 JTD. It's the 1.9 turbo diesel. This is a 2011 61 reg. This is the uh, wagon or estate. You can start under the bonnet. This is a timing belt driven engine. It's got full service history. As you can see, the timing belt It's done at 91,000 miles, it's all invoiced It's very clean and tidy under there Very well maintained Okay Start on the bodywork, let's start on this side The driver's side Obviously this vehicle has done let me remind myself uh, 165,000 miles and it is in 165 mile condition start on this wing the paint works very good there's no signs of uh, rust coming through the alloy wheel is very tidy the tyre is like brand new on this one brake disc are good the invoices for the, all the brake this everything on this vehicle is listed. The paintwork this side is good. A few stone chips on the bonnet on the edge there. The headlights are cool. They're not yellowing, they're clear. So a few stone chips on the bonnet, as to be expected. The grill's in reasonable condition. The badge has got a little bit of fading there on the colour. Bonnet's good. Like I say just stone chips on the edges. A little few little marks there. Nothing major. That's the uh, front wing. That wheel there. That's got a new tyre on as well. Back to the wing mirror is good. The screen is very good. No chips or cracks in that one. The roof very tidy on this one. Totally unmarked roof. As you can see, there's pretty much no dents or scrapes on this side at all. Nice wheels. This tyre is in good condition. It does look half worn. It looks to be about three to four mil. Obviously, a new tyre is seven to eight mils. Exhaust tailpipe looks good. No signs of smoking when we've driven this. Paintwork on the bumper is very good. Totally scratch free. Well, this vehicle is one former keeper. So the lady that's had it, uh, she's had it for quite a number of few, uh, years actually. I think she's had it from like one or two years old, this vehicle. So she's had it a long time. And the reason for sale, why has she had it such a long time then she sold it? Because she traded this in for an Audi TT because her daughters now are 18 years old. Got a few daughters and they learnt to drive, they've got their own vehicle and she says right it's about time I got something for myself. So she got the uh, uh, hairdresser's car, the Audi TT. Back of that mirror, there we go. Right let's start in the rear because this is why you are buying an estate. So this one you press there and that opens up to reveal that. So no dogs have been in this uh, vehicle. As you can see all that is absolutely mint, damage free, very clean, doesn't smell of dogs or anything like that. All that's clean, nothing's scuffed. Let's pull this cover back. This load area is very clean. You've got these little storage bins here, which come in very handy. One there, one this side as well. Under here you have got a spare wheel. So you've got a tool kit there and down the side you've got a skinny spare. The seats obviously do fall down and you have got a through load as well. So if you're posh, you go golfing, you go fishing, 
that's where you open that up and you uh, can stick your uh, well it sounds a bit rude but you can stick your rods through there we should close this again let's go to the back very clean the door cards are very clean no scratches no scuffs the kick plates are very clean it's got a set of fitting car mats as well tailored fit back to the seats are good three uh, full-size headrests and seat belts it has this armrest which pulls down it has got a storage depart compartment in there it's a storage to store some books etc some pens and then obviously the through load which we oh, oh, locked it there we go the through load okay you've got some air vents here which is good up front driver's door very clean no marks, no scuffs. Four electric windows, electric heated mirrors as well. There's the heated mirror switch. And there are folding as well. So there's a switch there, which you press there, and they fold in and out. So electric folding wing mirrors. This nice clean door pockets, speakers, the door shuts there. All clean, balloted by our man John. Alfa Romeo plastic click plates. These are the sports seats. These seats are quite special. If you look here, they've got this embossed Alfa Romeo logo, which is very, very classy. The sports seats are nice. They've got this sort of like a, uh, a honeycomb, if you look down there, honeycomb, and then like a fishnet over it. So very, very nice. Um, side airbags, so that's cool. You've also got on this one, you've got the lumbar support. That's the lumbar support there for both front seats. Then that's your uh, adjustment for the bike. Then you've got your back height and your front height adjustment. So quite a few adjustments. And then there, that's the lever for backwards and forwards. Uh, down here, it's very clean. This is the fitted carpet. As you can see, let's lift that out to show you how good it is. There's no damage there, such as our carpets in this all along. It's got these very nice Alfa Romeo foot pedals there with the embossed logo. Very nice touch, very classy. It's all carpeted. Even up, up here is carpeted. Okay, let's get in. Let's turn the stereo down. Okay, so we've got these uh, buttons here for the parking lights, the fog lights, the front and rear fog lights, the headlight adjustment. We've got a little storage pocket there. Up here, we've got the clocks. As you can see at the bottom, 165661. Uh, here, oh, I've got the cruise control on. So that's a cruise control button. So that's off now. You can tell your cruise control off, cruise control on. So yeah, it's got cruise control. It's got everything there, you can see. Uh, there is one little minor fault with this vehicle. We may have it fixed by the time you get here. If you look at the top right there, it says minus 37.5 degrees. If it was, I wouldn't be able to talk. Uh, obviously, it's a fault with the outside temperature gauge, which is not important, uh, really. We've got, uh, on the steering wheel, we've got the source button for the stereo. We've got the volume button and the telephone button controls as well. Up here we've got the uh, headlights, switches, the menu for the computer as you can see on the end. So you press that for the menu, it says you've got all these things. Here we go, speed limit, trip B, miles, blah blah blah. You've got all these, okay. On this stalk here, you've also got a trip button as well. So that's for the bottom one, so if I press this one here, it tells you the range in miles, travel distance, average consumption, etc. Uh, distance travelled on that, etc. So yeah, it's very, uh, got a few features in here. We've got these classic clocks here, which obviously show you the first from the left, the turbo boost. So when you, uh, obviously you can see the boost on the pressure, the temperature gauge, which is sitting perfectly, and the fuel gauge, which is just over a quarter of a tank. Okay, there's two keys there, as you can see, one stuck in, and there's a push button stop start there. Uh, also, we have got the adjustable steering wheel underneath there, as you can see, that lever. Uh, the stereo it is a, uh, it's quite good, this one, it's an MP3 player. Uh, it has got a few features, 
uh, it also has the climate control also this has got if we open the glove box there we have got a USB as well USB with the windows so that's good that's a good feature uh, for this year as well 2011 it's a good feature uh, climate control uh, the air conditioning does work but it's not ice cold it is quite cool but it's not ice cold uh, same again if you get here and we buy you buy this we may have actually done it by then because our garage at the moment is very very busy if I take it up to him and get it done it may be done by the time you get here uh, down here you've got a drinks holder with a 12 volt the 12 volt just slides forward there so it's a very sliding and you've got this cover which slides there so that you've got this lovely um, lever gator uh, handbrake cover all very clean uh, same with this you've got some buttons down here traction control child well central locking button and the warning triangle uh, in the armrest you've got this um, little air vent as well so the air conditioning so you can put a couple of cans they're actually drinks holders so a couple of cans of coke will fit in there and that will blow the cold air through that duct into there to cool your two drinks so that's quite handy uh, right okay what else have we got let's go to the other side and we're almost done so this door card here this is very clean as you can see this is the door that gets the action right, so this lady uh, had this car for like I think about eight or nine years and she actually got three daughters so all the daughters have grown up now so they've uh, decided yeah I need to treat myself and bought the lovely four-wheel drive Audi TT from us okay this door very clean no rips or tears in the armrest there got the airbag on and off so you can put your child seat there as well same again it's got the height adjustment and the lumbar support on the passenger seat as well so that's all good same again it's got the embossed headrest and you've got all the uh, manuals here this is the books the invoices the locking wheel not set two keys uh, fully invoice service history timing belts included uh, we've just had a new set of glow plugs fitted because the glow plugs were the glow plug light was on so we've had a four glow plugs fitted on this and we've had it serviced as well our oil service as well so it's all ready to go so it starts first time now like I said it's got the two keys it's HPI check clear let me have a look at the log book the log book does say one right there you go it says one former keeper there and the former keeper was called lease plan limited it's a lease plan so it was a company a lease vehicle okay I'll just go outside and walk around the vehicle once more and then we're finished so it's a lovely grey colour it's a metallic grey Reminds me of a dolphin or a shark, that kind of colour. Don't know if they call it, uh, I would call this Daytona grey. I'm not sure what Alfa Romeo call it. Something Italian, hopefully not pizza grey. Yeah, there we have it. One nice, uh, clean example, should we say. Full service history. Uh, obviously mileage 165,000 miles it is a 10 years old so 16,500 a year which is not bad really not bad a lot of people I know do 25 to 30,000 miles a year but yeah that's a nice clean example thank you for watching